Hello there, Taylor from SevereWeatherTV.com with the Severe Weather Outlook for July 25th. So what is happening in the Eastern Pacific? New tropical storm, Genevieve. We'll talk about that shortly. In Mexico for today, possibility for strong to very strong rains in this area. Strong winds possible in this area and some electrical activity and or hail in all of these areas with the blue lightning bolts. In the United States... Kind of a quiet day today for severe thunderstorm weather-wise, but tomorrow, absolutely not, and we'll talk about that shortly, in Canada. Lots of stuff going on. I believe all of these are warnings for either rain or winds. These, I believe, are warnings for rain, and these are warnings and watches for severe thunderstorms. So yellow is the watch, red is the warning, so severe thunderstorm-related activity up there. So here's what's happening cyclone-wise. So in addition to the tropical storm, we also have this thing, that at once upon a time, I believe it was as high as a high probability. I believe it was low yesterday, back up to medium chance of tropical cyclone formation. Then we have Genevieve. Il y a une tempête tropicale par là. Genevieve. Something of the sort. And then all of these different tropical disturbances, I believe the highest of which has a 60% chance of tropical cyclone formation in the next five days. So this is Genevieve, right? So... No land hazards, and given the trajectory or whatnot that they have for this storm, probably no land hazards in the future because it should pass well south of Hawaii based on this. Now, some of these, we could, you know, depending on the future, but that's into the future, man, in the United States. So, lots going on. Not today, but tomorrow, definitely. We'll talk about that just a moment and then select risk for Sunday. And then they, they being the Storm Prediction Center, are even confident enough to have put something on Monday's map, which is part of the medium range outlook. Here's what's happening at this very moment where we have eight different severe thunderstorm warnings. So severe thunderstorm warnings over here in Arizona and one in Florida. Then we have all of these special marine warnings in effect as well. So what's happening in general for today? Very low chance of a tornado, less than 2% chance. Doesn't mean it couldn't happen, it's just very, it's unlikely. 5% chance for the 58 mile per hour and greater winds today. 5% chance for the 1 inch larger hill. Tomorrow though, two different things, both as of now, it's as high as a 30%, which oftentimes you might see those chances bump up, could be a 45 or 60 tomorrow, who knows. But there's also the black hatched area. And if you go on to read, let's see, if you go here and you click on this, you can actually read more detail, but it's basically sounding like the black hatched area will be for significant winds. So basically, instead of just 58 mile per hour and greater winds, there's something indicative that there could be 75 mile mile per hour and greater winds. So obviously something to pay attention to. And I don't know, could be a potential derecho event, right? But then I don't think anybody's thrown that word around, so I shouldn't throw it around either. Right, that's that's it. And that is also it for today. And hopefully, hopefully you're staying safe out there.